Is Jesus Michael the Archangel? Jude 9 in Context Throughout history, many religious denominations have declared Jesus to be a mere man, prophet, or son born by God, having physical intercourse with Mary. But one sticks out as the most controversial, and that is that of the belief that Jesus is Michael the Archangel. It would be quick and straight to the point to say what the Bible presents, which is that of Jesus being the Son of God, distinct from angels, with a unique role in salvation, contradicting the idea of him being an angelic being. However, even though the Bible distinguishes between Jesus and Michael the Archangel as separate beings, a few are still convinced of this theory like the Jehovah's Witnesses. For starters, let's look into what Jude 9 says. But even the Archangel Michael, when he was disputing with the devil about the body of Moses, did not himself dare to condemn him for slander, but said, The Lord rebuke you. This passage clearly distinguishes between Michael the Archangel and the Lord, because Lord is used. Michael wouldn't speak of himself in third person this way. Also, it mentioned that Michael didn't dare condemn the devil, as if he was either afraid and knew it wasn't his call to do so. We all know that when Jesus was baptized, the heavens opened up and the voice of the Father declared, This is my Son, whom I am well pleased. And when he was transfigured before his apostles, the same thing happened. A voice in heaven declared, This is my Son, whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. This has given a sense that God the Father is allowing Jesus to take the entire wheel for himself and guide everyone. And this can be true to say because after his resurrection, he claimed that all authority was given to him in heaven and on earth. So we are looking at someone who can and will do anything he pleases with God's approval. So for Michael not daring to condemn the devil is an indication that he has no authority. He later says, May the Lord rebuke you, clearly making us believe that he is sending someone else to do it. The Bible that the Jehovah's Witnesses use, the New World Translation, renders it as, May Jehovah rebuke you. In the Kingdom Interlinear, it uses the Greek word Kyrios, which in English means Lord. Lord, referring to Jesus. The New World Translation has faulted this scripture and is already proving to be an error and an invalid translation to be used for reproving by replacing Jesus with Jehovah. You may say, well, Jehovah is Lord as well. For that, I'll explain in another video. Now, what if I told you there is a scripture that says Jesus is the Archangel? Then it would be the end of all arguments, right? Well, that's what leads me to the main point. The main scripture used to support this idea, and that is 1 Thessalonians 4.16. Click here to continue watching.